how you guys doing today um so today got places in my heart and i wanted to share my supernatural testimony that i've had with jesus you know with god and um you know often we hear that god works miraculous things god works miracles and things like that but we don't often hear people talking about the miracles or their supernatural experiences that they had you know especially this generation now um they don't really speak about it you know and i think that that's something that we have to talk about especially you know now in 2020 you know during the pandemic i want people to know that not only can we trust in god but he also works miracles you know he's a supernatural god so things that you think are not possible are possible through him so i wanted to share this testimony that i've had um it actually happened to me and my best friend while we were in um austin texas and um so we were driving and we we wanted to go sorry it's a lot of mosquitoes um we wanted to go to um jack in the box you know to go eat so as we are um in the middle lane to cross over to the other lane to go into jack in the box my goosebumps you know um you know how you get goosebumps like you feel something you feel some some kind of spirit there so that happened and i said oh my gosh it's something it's something out there you know i don't know who it is but i could see a woman and she was moving very crazy she she had took her hair off and she was moving all crazy and her eyes were rolling back and everything so i knew that we couldn't run away from this you know because it's a spirit realm it's, it's a spiritual warfare so there's no way you can run from it you can run from it in the fleshly realm but not in the spiritual so i said you know what we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and do it so we went ahead and we parked and i'm not gonna lie me as a human you know as a person i was very scared i was very scared and um i knew that all i can do was trust and believe in god i knew that he was the only one who can help me you know knowing what that woman could do because supernaturally god allows you to be able to see that spirit you know when you have discernment so supernaturally god allowed me to see what that spirit was and that spirit wanted to attack us you know me and my best friend so what i did was i, I sat there and we looked at me and my friend looked at each other and we said we got to go out there, you know. So I said, you know what? I trust you, Lord. So I went ahead and I got out the car. I closed the door. And um, the only thing I said was, God, I believe and I trust in you. As I was looking in the mirror, I was looking outside of the car. I seen myself. And I, I looked at myself and I said, God, I believe and I trust in you. I believe and I trust in you, Lord. So, you know, as soon as I said that, little did I know that God was actually hearing me. You know, our supernatural God, our creator, was hearing me. You know, little old me, he was hearing me. So, as I got in the back of the car, as I walked over there, I waited for my best friend. So, she came and um, she started walking right beside me. So, supernaturally, God allowed me to see this big cloud of bubble. It was a cloud. It was... It was, um, how do I explain this? It was like a cloud, but it was made into a bubble. You know, it was a very huge bubble. I mean, it was all around us. It was around me and my best friend. And and that allowed me to see that whatever that demon was, whatever it was that was possessed that, wo that, possessed that woman could not come against us, you know, because the protection of God was over us. And that was such an amazing experience. You know, when we got into the Jack in the Box, we grabbed hands and we started praying and that spirit actually left the woman put her hair back and just started walking normally <clears throat> but the reason why i'm um saying this is because saying this testimony is because i know that many of you you know especially the young generation they think that the bible is outdated or it doesn't work anymore or something like that but i want to let you know that god is still alive god is making miracles still and um every day he's gonna be there for you even when you don't think that he is he is so supernaturally he's gonna be there he's gonna be your protector you know <clears throat> all those all those miracles that you hear about and that you read in the bible they're true i've experienced it myself and that's only one of my testimonies supernaturally because i've had many i've even had dreams that you would be amazed that people wouldn't even believe me you know for the things that i've seen before 
But this is one of the testimonies that God placed in my heart today to share with you guys because I think it's very important that you guys know that. That don't, no matter where you are in the world, if you experience something, just know that God got you. You know, God is going to place that protection over you, that, that bubble of protection over you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Guys, I want you to know that you can trust God. No matter what, you can trust Him. Forget about what people think. And you know, another reason why I want to say this to you guys is because... You know, when I had this experience, I was actually further than what I am now. I wasn't as close to God as I am now, you know. Um, so even if you're, if you're living in a sinful life, if you're drinking, if you're going clubbing, if you're smoking, I don't care what you're doing. If you're on drugs, no matter what you're doing, God is going to reveal himself to you. Because it's not about what people think. Let people talk. People are going to talk anyway. They're going to talk anyway. You know, it's even... You know, not every person that says that they believe in God believes in God. Not every person that talks about the word is from God, you know. So I want you guys to be aware and be careful, you know, and um, let the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you. Because not everybody's right. You know, especially people who are very strict or anything in the law. Because it's, it's not about the law. It's not about the law. It's about the relationship that we have with God. You know, and how close we are to him. Because, you know, I mean, even if you have tattoos, it don't even matter. It don't even matter. But I just wanted to let you guys know that God works supernaturally. He's a, a miracle worker. He's a healer. Just believe in him. Don't let anybody tell you that he does not exist. That he is not alive. Because he is. And I've experienced it myself. You know, and just like I said in my other video, I'm not going to sit here and talk about it if I don't believe it, if I haven't seen it with my own eyes. Because <clears throat> before that, before God came into my life, before I started learning about Him, before I knew about Him, I was just like you. You know, I, I've heard about God, but I was still confused between Jesus and God and who was God and who was Jesus. And to be honest, I was confused and I grew up in the church. I grew up in the church, you know, but some people don't take the time to teach each kid what they need to. You know, they kind of like push you aside or leave that kid over there, you know, and I want you to know that you can find out on your own who God is because he will reveal himself to you. Don't wait on people. When I was, when I was a little younger, I did not know about God. I did not know about him. I would have never thought in my life that I would be here sitting and talking to you guys about God. I would have never thought that. But God said otherwise. God said otherwise. So it's not it's not about what people think. It's not about what they think of you. It's not about what they say. It's not about that. But just know that God sees you. God sees you and He loves you. And He wants you to know that He works supernaturally. He works supernatural miracles for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't let anybody tell you that the Bible is outdated because it's not. This is going to be a short video, but I wanted you guys to know that. I wanted to share my testimony with you guys. I hope that this changes your life. You know, and um, accept them as your Savior. Accept them. Thank you, Jesus. When you think that there's no hope, there is hope. You know, especially for those that that are in sin right now or you're on drugs believe in him don't stop believing in him because he's not going to give up on you he's waiting for you he's waiting for you but you remember guys don't let anybody tell you that the bible's outdated because it's not thank you jesus every day his eyes his eyes are on us he's watching us very closely he knows every secret about you so be honest to him be honest. Tell him in your prayers. As you walk during the day, tell him. Talk to him. Tell him how you feel. Thank you, Jesus. I'll see you guys.